The National Enquirer is within days of being sold. That story first broken by the Washington Post, owned by Jeff Bezos, the Amazon founder who, of course, was the subject of an Enquirer expose about the affair that just led to his divorce and has accused the tabloid of blackmail. Joining us now from Connecticut to shed light on why American Media Inc. is suddenly dumping the tabloid, Charlie Gasparino, senior correspondent for Fox Business Network. And Charlie, a lot of people may not know that the Enquirer's parent company is owned by a hedge fund run by a guy named Anthony Melchiore. So right. why is the Enquirer now on the verge of being sold? Well, I think the hedge fund guy is just, uh, Ch Chatham Asset Management is just embarrassed. And uh, I mean, think about what, what happened here. Um, the Enquirer got into a death match with one of the richest people in the world. Essentially, it's maybe not totally illegal, but it looks really sleazy. They ex try to extort Jeff Bezos. Uh, he well, let me just let me them. just jump in and say that the Enquirer's version of that is that the stuff about we have the naked selfies and so forth was right. not extortion, but was part of settlement talks in which they were going back and forth on who's got what. Right. So I just wanted to get, me, I just want to get that on the record. Yeah, of course. And by the way, there's a very fine line between extortion and a contract. I get that legally, but it looks really bad. And I think this Meteori guy sat back and said, "Listen." The National Enquirer probably accounts for like 5% of our uh, revenues here. Plus it's losing and, money. Yeah, and 100% and of our problems. <laughs> Let's get rid of it. I do know that, I know people who know David Pecker, and I should point out, I've done some freelance work for AMI and Men's Fitness. I wrote a personal finance column mm -hmm. for them for a while. I know people that know David very well. This was his baby. He actually liked running the National Enquirer. So he, from what I understand, he had to be essentially convinced uh, to, to, to get rid of this. This is something he really liked. It gave him some degree of power, obviously. You're saying he was pressured uh, into it. Yeah, I mean, that's essentially what I'm hearing. Um, now, they're saying he's, he was on board. I, I ran this by AMI's PR people. They say he was on board, but I'm hearing that Pecker is telling others not so. Uh, we should point out that the National Enquirer, you know, had its moments. L listen, nobody is ever going to get the National Enquirer, you know, confused with the Wall Street Journal or the Washington Post. But, you know, they broke some stories over the years. This was oh, such absolutely. a low point. The John Edwards story that knocked oh, him out yeah. of the race, Tiger Woods, and, and, and many other oh, things. Other yeah. stories may be more suspect. But let me just provide some little little bit of a political context here, because as right. you know, David Pecker, close friend of President Trump, he's the CEO uh, of, the, of the company, AMI, and it was Pecker and the company that struck an immunity deal just a few months ago, uh, admitting they were trying to influence the 2016 campaign by paying this former Playboy model, Karen McDougal, a legend affair with Trump, $150,000 of what's known as catch and kill. He bought her story and made sure that the story never got out. So in part of the immunity deal, they can't break the law on anything else, or they could be prosecuted for the first thing, and then along comes the Bezos controversy. Right. And, you know, what, one of the things people are talking about, if you buy the National Enquirer, do you get all the stories that they caught and killed or <laughs> caught and, and, and stored over here in the yeah. safe on Trump? I mean, that is a legitimately the question that's being asked. You know, Howie, two things come to mind. You know, in some ways, all publicity is good publicity. Maybe this helps the sale of it. There's also a really bad stench to this thing. I, I don't, I, I, I kind of wonder who really wants to buy this. I mean, well, on that very just, point, because it's very murky, uh, the New York Times had a story a couple days ago saying that Ron Burkle, California right. supermarket magnate and friend of Bill Clinton was in talks to buy it. And then Burkle's people come out and say, not only we're we not buying it, we were never in any talks. But the right. time well, said, they're friend, David yeah. Pecker and Burkle are longtime friends. You remember, right. the, the, the National Choir is sold. It makes sense, kind of. They're sold in, 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 in sh super, shopping right, supermarkets. Right. right. Um, listen, I think this is going to be a hard sell. I, I can't imagine how much it's going to go for. And uh, it might be a good thing that this thing isn't around anymore, based on what happened uh, <laughs> just just recently. Well, it's still got the brand name, you know, and a lot of people who buy, you know, obviously all print publications are struggling. But finally, Charlie, um, if assuming that it is sold, regardless of who buys it, and if David Pecker is no longer running it, does the president lose, by virtue of his uh, close friend selling this, uh, a publication that has very much been in his corner and during the campaign, you know, well, attacked the people who ran against him? Yeah, I mean, this was like his Luca Brazzi. I remember Luca Brazzi in The Godfather. This was, I mean, if he wanted a hit done on Ted Cruz, and I remember the Ted Cruz coverage, which was absurd and disgusting, but it might, but it might have won a few votes in the Republican primary when he was saying Ted Cruz had multiple affairs and his father may have killed JFK. I mean, these are actual stories that ran during the campaign, and then right. the stuff on Hillary. You know, that's gonna, you know, this is this is something that it's it's one less one less thing in in on in Donald Trump's corner came. against. It's a complete media that essentially hates him.
became a political player. Got to go, Charlie. Thanks so much.